Do you know that you're in a game, an information game? I suppose like any game, our knowledge of the rules of the game or having a strategy can help us be more effective players. So that's what I want to talk to you about. I want to talk to you about this game and how being skeptical, actively being skeptical and cynical are actually really, really powerful things. And they're not just powerful, they're really essential in today's world. So in the title of my talk, I reference that song from Ah Hit in the 80s, the Norwegian synth pop band, The Sun Always Shines on TV. Now, an interpretation of this is that the sun always shines on TV because TV's not real, okay? TV is entertainment. And you've got actors and directors, you've got producers, all trying to push something out there. Trying to entertain us, but also trying to influence us, okay? Now, in the 80s, this is very powerful, and it's still very powerful. But that was one screen, okay? One channel we could watch at one time, one time slot. Today, the game is different. We have these things. Now, with our phones, there's an awful lot more screens. This is one screen, but we can change all the time. And the difference is, previously, they had to go to a general audience. Now they know us. We give away our data. Practically everyone here has a phone with them, okay? This collects all our data and it knows us. It knows our weaknesses, it knows our strengths, it knows our pressure points, it knows how to make us do varying different things. So, the idea is the concepts of being skeptical and cynical. Interpretation of being skeptical is just that you just want to see more evidence, okay? Stronger evidence. And being cynical is not always believing that the per the organization or whoever's pushing the information have good motives, okay? So, when I was younger, um, growing up in Bunkrana, it's a town in Ireland, in Donegal here, everyone played football, soccer. You just had to play, that was the deal. So, I played with everyone else and I quite enjoyed it, but I wasn't very good at it, okay? I'd often lose the ball to all these wee fancy players, and a bit frustrating, but they all wanted to score the goal, so something dawned on me even when I was quite young that if I kind of moved back into defence, I could use something that I had. I could use one of the weapons I had, and I was very fortunate. I could run, and I could run and run and run, and I was reasonably fast. I was as fast as most of the forwards anyway. So my whole strategy in this game was basically just keep up with them and kick them. That was about it. So it might have been popular, and it definitely wasn't popular, and just narrowly avoided getting punched a few times, but I had an approach to the game that worked. Later in life, I took up martial arts, and then this was refined. Did competition karate, good fun, got along reasonably well, and what I did was I basically had, we learned loads of techniques, but I really won't technique was any good at it, just kind of, wow, kind of punch, <laughs> and it was reasonably good. Now, it worked fairly well, I was in the game. You go up to high level, people, and you try this, and they step back and kick you in the head, but that's a different deal. Um, it was a strategy or an approach. And that's what I think being skeptical and cynical are. Now, in my day job, in the real world, I am a computer scientist, and I'm a lecturer and a researcher, and I teach people how to work with data and how to create models to analyze data. And we can do a lot of things with the data. We can make it do many, many things. We can make it say many things in fancy graphs. And what I teach and instill into the students is that often we get a result and we might think this is great. We have to question our result, particularly our own result. We have to be the biggest critics and the biggest skeptics, I suppose, of what came out of our results straight away. Now, data scientists are in big demand around the world and they're all skeptical. They're very skeptical of everyone else's work and they're very cynical of everyone else's work because we know when we go out into the real world, this is nice, we just do honest calculations with numbers. But people pay us, and they pay us to make data say certain things. So, we're very, very skeptical and cynical of other people's work, or of anything that we see. And this is what I want everyone to do. I want people to have, you know, an approach, one or two approaches that they can do well, in this case being skeptical and cynical, and they can use well. It's like the, the line from Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee is an interesting line, he says, he doesn't fear the man who knows 10,000 kicks. He fears the man who's practiced one kick 10,000 times. So you have something that you're good at. And what I'm trying to tell you to do is be good at being skeptical and being cynical. 
Now, this game we're in, with all the stuff comes through here, this has gone through the roof. It's really, really powerful what they can do. The algorithms, and algorithms is just a, a set of instructions or a way of doing something, but they're very good. They give us exactly what we like. They keep us in our little bubble, our little corner, our echo chamber, and some of you may be disappointed to hear this, right? The algorithm is just numbers. It doesn't care where you are. It doesn't care if you're right wing, if you're left wing, if you're far right, if you're far left, if you're pro this, if you're anti that. It doesn't care, just numbers. It just feeds you what you want, okay? Stay there, have some more of this. Look at the shiny sun coming out of your screen. So, I'm gonna tell you a little story, okay? And see if you can see where this is going, right? Now, as I said before, I'm a runner, okay? And I've been a runner for years, and I've enjoyed and I've competed, and I did reasonably well, competed for my club in Derry, and club level runner. But, as you can probably tell, I'm not 20 anymore, okay? So, we have masters categories, or veterans categories. And they go up in five year age categories, and I'm in the 45 to 49 category at the moment. So after a few years, seven, of not doing anything, I got a bit excited and got watching some sport, and all right, I'm gonna do it again. So I'm not just gonna enter some little road race. No, 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 I'm going straight back to the national championships, okay? So I entered, went down, went for a couple of quick runs, it was all right. And I dropped the distance a bit, and it's on the track. So I dropped it down to 400 meters ago. I'll get away with that, it'll be all right. So, went down to the national championships, there's nine entered into the race. Pulled on the good old spikes like the old days, fancy night things, and ready to run, down into the blocks as normal, ready. Go, run, 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 run. Can't breathe, can't breathe, run, 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 run. A day for the line, one lap, okay? No, I just missed the bronze medal by this much. I just missed being in the top three best runners in the country, okay? That's a lovely story, but I left something out. All I told you was true. I said there was nine entered, and there was. The truth is, four turned up, and I was last. <laughs> now, what I did there, that's a narrative. I just gave you a story from my own perspective. And the people doing that, through the phones, for whatever cause you like or dislike, they're much better at it than I am. Okay, they're really, really good. They know what your points are. They know they charge your emotions. They get you to think all the time. They keep you there. So when you see something, what are your weapons to deal with this stuff? And I'm saying you should be skeptical and you should be cynical. Okay, you should question everything that comes through. Sorry. So, a line from a film that I enjoyed. Now, I don't sit and watch cartoons all the time, right? But this was Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit 2, to be honest, which I was watching with the kids. But there's a line in it, one of the characters, Barnabas. Barnabas says, people are very easy to lie to when they want to believe. And that's the case. That's the case with us all. Even if we're firmly entrenched on one side or the other side, we will just want it to be true. We will reduce our skeptical and cynical filters. My idea is that you should use your one or two tools or weapons, and you should apply them all the time, particularly if... It's what you want to see. You have to apply this stuff because the game's changed. The game's really powerful. Now, what you actually do with this is another thing. Do you just sit there more protected and go, right, I know what's right from wrong and I'm not gonna do anything? Or do you go out and take on the world? That's up to you. You really have to decide. And going out there, like the football pitch back in the days in Bunkrana, is not popular. You might get the odd punch or have to dodge some punches. It helps, there's a, Personality trait called agreeableness. You can be high or low on it. I'm low on it, so that kind of helps a bit. You don't really mind what people say. But you don't have to have that. Just use these tools, use these weapons. Find one or two things and try and be good at them. There's another line from a song. Now, this is going back. It's going back. I was really weak. 1978, Barry White. Some of you will know who Barry White is. If you don't, please look him up after. This will be funnier. But... Barry White had a big bass baritone voice and he sang a lot of love songs, okay? So he was always singing and serenading and he's a song called Just The Way You Are, which I think he stole from someone else. But he has this song and he's singing about, he doesn't want them to change. So what he says, is, he says, I don't want clever conversation, I don't want to work that hard. So 
do you think clever conversation, questioning things, asking questions, being a bit awkward, that's hard work? We don't want this to be hard work. We want this to be easy. We want to sit down in our little fun, happy place and go, ha, 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 cat videos, ha, 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 memes. Which are, well, I don't know if the cat videos are designed, but the memes are designed to give us stuff, to keep us here, to laugh at the opposition. That's what it's all designed to do. So what my advice to you is, next time you see something, particularly if it's something you agree with, and particularly if it's from one of your social media channels, or on a forum, or trust me, bro, somebody said this, question it. Look for more evidence. Use that little address bar. Search for a different site. Search for the site that often those in charge will tell you that, you know, missing disinformation, and all the missing disinformation is over there, and we're right over here. Really? That's not critical thinking. That's not asking questions. That's not being properly skeptical and properly cynical. But all sides do it. No matter what side you're on, they're all doing it. And you have to use and you have to go and look for more evidence. Skepticism means looking for more evidence, looking for better evidence, particularly if you're going to do something with it or if you're going to share it. They do this on purpose. They fire us up. They make us happy. They make us sad. They make us angry. When they make us angry, we will do something. We will react. We will share. So in this modern world, this game we're in, this information game, the game is not like the good old days. It's not like just one channel or one or two newspapers. Everything's coming in. It knows us. It personalizes everything to us. And it knows you and the people doing it, marketers, politicians, news presenters, they use this. They pay a lot of money for this. They use it in elections. They use it in referendum campaigns. And they use it on us. And we're the pawns in the middle, but we're not helpless. You can use these tools. When next time you see something, think skeptically. Think cynically. What do they want you to believe? And remember why the sun always shines on TV.